Posting manually is the slowest thing you can do in 2025, but there's a new secret tool that auto posts your videos everywhere. It's called Blotato and they just released a new node for the automation platform N8N and it changes everything. It is by far the best way to automate publishing to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, LinkedIn, threads, and more all from a simple Google Sheet. No fancy code, no messy APIs. I've used systems like this to grow my AI agency to over $10,000 a month, sell automation to thousands of customers, and grow an audience of over 100,000. The new Blotato node is built by Sabrina Romanov, who is one of the biggest AI influencers in the space. She has a following of over 500,000 on TikTok alone, so she knows what she's talking about. In this video, I'll show you exactly how to build a content publishing automation step-by-step. -step. So by the end of this video, you will have a system that publishes your videos to all of your social media platforms completely on autopilot. And if you'd rather skip the setup, I'll leave a link in the description where you can grab the workflow that we build today along with all of the other resources I've used to scale my agency. So here's what I wanna do today. I just wanna show you how to get started using Blotato just by creating your account and login. And then we're gonna walk through exactly how to connect to all of your social media platforms, literally all you have to do is log in with your name and password. And then we're just gonna go through how to set up the API, which should literally take us only a minute or two. From there, I'm just gonna walk you through the simple Google Sheet that I have set up. We're going to take a video and create captions using ChatGPT. And then I'm just gonna walk you through step-by-step -step how to build a simple automation in N8N. And basically the automation is just gonna work like this. It's gonna run on a schedule that you set. It's going to get a record from the Google Sheet, which basically is just going to have the URL for your video file along with the captions. We're gonna upload the video to Blotato, and then we're gonna publish it to all your social media platforming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click Execute Workflow. Again, this would run on the schedule you set. We're going to get our record in Google Sheet with the URL and all of the captions. We're uploading our video to Blotato so that it's publicly available. And then we're going to publish to Instagram, to LinkedIn, to YouTube, to TikTok, and really whatever other accounts that you set up. And then from here, we're just going to update the row in our Google Sheet so that if we come back in here, you can see now our status is changed to published. And if we come over into YouTube, we can go ahead and refresh my content in the YouTube studio. And we can see here we have a new post ready to go. If I come over to TikTok, I can go ahead and check my TikTok account. And you can see we basically have this new post all ready to go. Then I can go ahead and come over to Instagram and you can see we have a brand new post all ready to go with our caption. And the last one to check is our LinkedIn account. We can come to LinkedIn and go ahead, come to my profile. Go ahead and scroll down here and you can see we have a new LinkedIn post with our video, with our caption and everything that we need. So let me walk you through how to get started with Blotato. The first thing you wanna do is just come over to blotato.com and go ahead and click try for free. You get a seven day free trial and this is kind of the pricing. The starter plan is more than enough. Just go ahead, click start free trial and then you're gonna to wanna to create your account with a name and password. I already have an account so it's just gonna go ahead and log me in. Today we're going to be using the API because we wanna build an N8N but Blotato is actually an awesome platform. Basically Blotato is like the ultimate content repurposing tool. You can take a link from YouTube or TikTok and then turn that into content for all of your social media platforms. They have an entire AI video generator set up to help you create faceless videos. And it really just goes on and on. There's so much that you can do with this platform. Today, we're just going to be using the API to publish everywhere. But really, this platform is amazing. And for 29 bucks, it's a no brainer. So after we've logged into the system, all you want to do is you just want to come down to the settings here. And really already we're kind of in the API world, right? And really all you have to do is go to your different accounts and log in. If I wanna log in with Twitter, I can go ahead and click log in with Twitter. It's going to take you to a very familiar login page. You're gonna put in your name and password, it'll log you in. Again, I already have an account, so it logged me in. If you wanna log in with LinkedIn, it's the same. Same for Facebook or TikTok or Instagram. Like I haven't connected Facebook yet, so I'll just show you like if we click log in with Facebook, it's gonna put your email, phone number and password and you can just log in. It's literally so easy to set up, it's insane. And then from there, you can see these are all of my connected accounts, super easy. You actually don't even need to understand anything else that is going on down here. The only other thing that you do need is to come up to API here and basically it automatically creates an API key for you and you would just click copy API key. And if this gets exposed or you wanna create a new one, literally you just have to click regenerate. After that, literally 30 seconds, you're all set up to use Blotato. So we can go ahead and check all of this off the list and I'm just gonna go ahead and show you the Google Sheets. So I just set up this really simple Google Sheet. Today, I'm only gonna publish to YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and LinkedIn, but you can add all the other channels in here if you want. And basically, we're just going to drop a URL for the video on Google Drive in here. We're gonna create a caption for each one of these platforms. And then all you have to do is make sure this status is set to ready. And we can just go ahead and we can just drag this down here if you wanna create more rows. So real quick, just come back, 
and we can check this off as well. That's literally it. So I've already gone ahead and uploaded another video to Google Drive. This is basically just another automation workflow that I've built. This N8N automation generates 60,000 impressions on my LinkedIn posts. So that's really it. And basically the only thing you need here is the URL. So we can just come in here and you can go to share and just copy link. I will say you wanna just make sure that in your share settings, you have this set to anyone with the link is an editor so that you actually make sure you have access to it. The easiest way to do this is really just to set that at the folder level. So basically anything you've uploaded to this folder will have the same share settings. So I'm just gonna come back in here and I'm just gonna go ahead and paste in the URL. And if we want, we can just go ahead and we can do format and we can do wrapping and we can just clip the text because we don't need to see it. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna use ChatGPT to create some really quick captions for all of these platforms. So I'm just gonna come over to ChatGPT and I'm just gonna say, I have a short video on an N8N automation that takes voice notes and turns them into viral LinkedIn posts. Your task is to create brief captions optimized for YouTube, TikTok, LinkedIn, and what was the other one I said? I don't even remember at this point. Instagram, right? Okay, cool. And Instagram. So I'm just going to go ahead and send that off and see what the system creates. And again, you can optimize this for yourself. You can change these prompts, whatever, but this is, I just really just want to show you how the system works. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm just going to copy and paste every single one of these. YouTube, come in here, we'll go TikTok. And I'm going to go LinkedIn. And I'm coming here and I'm just gonna grab the Instagram caption and paste this in here as well. And we can basically just grab all these and we can do the same thing, format, wrapping, and we can go ahead and just clip that. Great, I just wanna make sure this actually got in here. That's better. Cool, so now we have all of our captions and we're ready to go. So as we've been doing, really simple, let's just go ahead and let's check this off because now this is the fun part. Let's go ahead and build out this automation in N8N so you can see how easy it is. So I'm gonna come into N8N and the first thing I'm gonna do is you can trigger this manually or you can set this to run on a schedule and you could say, we wanna trigger this like every day at let's say, yeah, 7 a.m., right? And so now we have a new video publishing every day at 7 a.m., awesome. What we wanna do now is we just wanna go here and we wanna to go to Sheets and we'll just grab the Google Sheets node. If you don't know how to create a connection to Google Drive, I will leave a video up here that walks you through in five minutes how to connect all of your Google applications to N8N. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do get rows in Sheet. So from there, we just need the document and I could choose from the list or I can just do by ID since we know exactly which sheet we wanna use. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and I'll come back in here and I can paste this in. And now if I go to from list for the sheet, this is just sheet one. And if I go ahead and do execute step, what this is gonna do is it's gonna pull in every single row. So you can see all of these rows. And so basically I just wanna add two things. One, I'm going to add a filter and this is loading all of the columns. And we can just basically say, we wanna make sure the status is set to ready. So that way after we publish it, we can switch the status to publish and it's only gonna grab ones that are ready because we don't wanna publish them again. And then if I go out here, add option, and I can just do return only first matching row. So now we're actually only going to get one at a time instead of every single row that says ready. So now if I go ahead and click execute step, you should see we've actually pulled in our row that we've completed with our URL and all of the captions for our videos. Cool, and we can just call this Blotato. It's always good to name things. The next thing you wanna do is just come over here, click the plus, and we're just gonna search for Blotato. It's literally so easy to use now, like it's crazy. So I'm just gonna go to upload media, and I've already connected this to my Blotato account, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a new credential. So in order to create a new credential for Blotato, just come up here and go to create new credential. And all you have to do is come back to the Blotato settings, copy your API key, and just paste this in and basically click save. And now you've connected to Blotato in like two seconds. So now that we've connected to Blotato, you can see this is asking for a media URL. I actually know that this URL here is not a publicly available URL. We need what's known as a web content link, but there's a way that we can take this URL and turn it into a easy link every time. So I'm just gonna go ahead and first, I'm just gonna copy this JSON over here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click copy. I'm just gonna come back to ChatGPT and I'm gonna say, I'm in N8N. I need an expression to turn the URL from the following JSON into a web content link. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paste this in and see what this gives me. So I'm gonna use this expression, JSON URL, and we're gonna match this thing. I don't know what this means, but basically this is the 
correct format for the content link. So basically we're just converting the link. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy this. I'm gonna come back in here and you should only have to do this once and I'm gonna paste this in. And you can see here now that we basically have this situation that gives us this result that is actually a downloadable link to our Google Drive file. And we know it's working because everything is green. So if I go ahead and I click execute step, just give this a second. So what this is doing is this is uploading our publicly available link to the Blotato server. And you can see this worked because now we actually have a URL to the Blotato database. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I can click P to pin this to make sure we always have this. And I can go ahead and click save. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna link this up to our social media platform. So I can go ahead and click Blotato. I can come into create post. And now I can do the C, this says platform Instagram. And then from the account, I can just go to from list. And because we connected our accounts in Blotato, remember we went here and we connected all of these accounts. This actually automatically knows everything about our accounts to connect to the right place. So I'm just gonna go ahead and select my name. And so now what I can do is I can come in here and I can go back to the Google sheet and I can just grab the text for Instagram and I can paste this in and I can go ahead and grab the media URL coming from the upload media. So now I can go ahead and paste this in here. And again, once you set this up once, you should never have to set this up again. So we can go ahead and we can rename this and we can say Instagram. And now what I can do is I can just copy and paste this and I can connect this up here and we can go ahead and we can rename this and we can say TikTok. And if I come back in here, we can go ahead and we can change this post create. And now from platform, we can just go ahead and change this to TikTok. And we can see, make sure we just double select the account to make sure we're using the right one. The text here, I actually wanna go ahead and grab this from the Google Sheet and I wanna make sure we're grabbing the TikTok text. The URL is going to stay the same. There's a couple more settings that you can set this however you want. These should be familiar to you if you've ever uploaded to TikTok before, like the privacy level, the comments, the duet, stitch, all this stuff, um, you know, is really up to you. So we actually don't need to do any of this, which is great. And we can just go ahead and real quick, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Connect this up here for LinkedIn. I can come here and I can say LinkedIn choose from the list. I'm just my name everywhere, but your names might be different. We can go ahead, grab this, switch out the text for LinkedIn. And the last thing we need to do is connect this one more time to YouTube. And I'm just gonna go ahead and call this LinkedIn, connect this up, go ahead, call this YouTube. And again, you can see here that you can literally do this for Blue Sky, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Threads, like, right, all these places, Twitter, right? Like, I didn't do Twitter, but you could, right? So we can just come in here, and we can go ahead, and we can change the text to this from YouTube. And there is a video title field here. So if we wanted, we could have had ChatGPT create a title for this video. Why don't we just say create a 40-character title for YouTube? And so we can just go ahead, and we can say this. And if we wanted to, we could actually add a column here in Google Sheets so that we just have this all pulling from the same place, but in the interest of time, voice notes to viral LinkedIn posts, cool, great, and we can just paste this in here too. So again, like you could actually pipe this in from the Google Sheets, but we didn't have that. Um, but maybe I'll go ahead and add it. And so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'll just add this at the end for now, insert a column right, and actually I don't need any of this, but we can call this YT title, and I can just go ahead and delete all this. And if I come in here, we can paste that in. Definitely don't need this to say, ask ChatGPT. Cool, and so now if we want, we can actually pull this in to the rest of the flow. So it can come just in here. Let's see what happens if I run this again. We can come in here, we can grab the YouTube title. So when we're ready to run this for real, we would just unpin this. And now we're all set up to publish to all of our platforms. And one thing you just wanna make sure that you do at the end, I'll just do this after TikTok, is we'll come to Google Sheets. And what we wanna do is we just wanna update a row in the sheet. And I can come in here and I can change this to by ID again. I can go ahead and grab our ID from the sheet. Come back in here, paste that in, choose our sheet from the list. We can go ahead here, select match on row number. Go ahead, delete this. We can grab the row number here, bring this in here. So we're just gonna make sure that we match. Update the status to say publish. And so now once we run through the flow, it's basically gonna come in here. It's gonna switch our status to published. And so now next time we run through the system, it's just going to grab the next row in the Google Sheet so that we're not repeating our videos. So now that we've set everything up, let's go ahead and test this end to end to make sure it's all working. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click execute workflow. Again, this would run on the schedule you set. We're going to get our record in Google Sheet with the URL and all of the captions. We're uploading our video to Blotato so that is publicly available. And then we're going to publish to Instagram, to LinkedIn, to YouTube, to TikTok, and really whatever other accounts that you set up. And then from here, we're just going to update the row in our Google Sheet so that if we come back in here, you can see now our status is changed to published. And if we come over into YouTube, we can go ahead and refresh my content in the YouTube studio. And we can see here we have a new post ready to go. 
if I come over to TikTok, I can go ahead and check my TikTok account and you can see we basically have this new post all this ready to go. Then I can go ahead and come over to Instagram and you can see we have a brand new post all ready to go with our caption. And the last one to check is our LinkedIn account. We can come to LinkedIn and go ahead, come to my profile, go ahead and scroll down here and you can see we have a new LinkedIn post with our video, with our caption and everything that we need. So we might as well go ahead and check this off as well. So just to recap what we did today, we set you up with your Botato account, we connected all your social media accounts, we gave you quick API access, we set up a Google Sheet to track all of our videos, we created captions using ChatGPT and again store those in Google Sheet, and then we created a fully automated build inside of N8N using Botato to publish our content to all of our social media platforms on a schedule that you set. If you thought this video was helpful, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, check the link in the description to download the workflow, and if you want to learn more ways to automate your social media, check out this video that I made that shows you exactly how to create viral LinkedIn posts using just your voice. I'll see you over there.